This is the out of the box email from Sign Butler. As you all know, you can fully customize this, but you can also add more information uh, to the email than this is than you normally see. So normally we have the first name, the last name of the uh, uh, contact to uh, to reach. You have the uh, first name and the last name of the sender that's sending the email. Uh, but of course, you can fully customize this and add even more fields. In this case, we're gonna try to add the uh, uh, account name uh, that's linked to our opportunity into our setup here. Okay, let's take a look how we go about that. Uh, first step is we're gonna create a data source that will select our data. So we're just gonna create a new data source. Uh, in our case, this example, we're going to start from an opportunity. So I'm going to call this uh, sign request opportunity data. Okay, it's a single because it's just one opportunity that we're going to handle, obviously. And I'm just going to use the Sokol Builder to create my data source. Okay, filter on opportunity. So uh, let's take a look. My opportunity is right here. Okay, I'm going to take the field opportunity ID because that's what I want to filter on. And then I'm going to take the account, uh, uh, follow the relationship to the account. And then I'm going to take the name, Hold on, not the bill, but the name of the account. So I added the field now that I need. If you need multiple fields, you can of course add multiple fields. Now I need to add a filter to make sure I only select the opportunity I that I actually require. So I'm going to use the record ID, of course, in this case. So click the add button and now save my query. So we have now our data source to select the data. Next step is we're going to have to create a custom email to be sent out. All emails in, uh, uh, in Sign Butler are via uh, email templates directly from Salesforce. So the lightning email templates. So there is a tab email templates. If you go there, just go to all folders and then you'll find the uh, sign butter emails right here. What we're gonna do here is actually gonna go for an, uh, an uh, signer request. Hola, signer. Sign, hola, this is the, uh, the folder, okay. What we want here is the sign request created. Yeah, that's the one sign request created and I'm gonna copy the uh, the English one. So this is sign request created. So this mail is sent when the sign request is created the first time. And now I'm gonna clone this. I'm gonna put in a, a prefix. So I'm just gonna call this uh, Academy underscore don't forget the underscore that's required this is the prefix but the underscore is uh, something we add so you have to have an underscore there i'm going to create a new folder i'm going to call this academy in this case hola i think i didn't create it okay academy and then i'm going to select this folder to clone my uh, email template. For the rest, I'm not gonna change anything here. Uh, just gonna clone it first. And when it's cloned, now I'm gonna make a change. So what I want here is to add a merge field uh, that sign butter will fill in with the uh, data coming from the data source. So um, in this case, I'm gonna do edit here. And now I'm just gonna put between brackets I'm gonna put my account name. So make sure to look really close how this um, how this is set up. Uh, first, we have the three accolades, accolades yeah, in the beginning and in the end. Then we have sign butler. So this indicates that this is a custom um, a custom field in the email because uh, recipient dot uh, first name that's a that's a standard field from the email. Uh, and then we have the um, yeah we have the name in the Sokol uh, in the query in the data source of the field that we want to use. So it's account.name, and as you can see here, account.name that field is right here. So that's actually the field 
that I want to use in my query, uh, sorry, in my email. Okay, email is set up. I'm going to save it. Now, uh, one last thing, uh, something that's uh, forgotten very often. I'm going to go back to my, uh, my email templates. I'm going to go to all folders, going to go to, uh, sorry, not, uh, not go, but I'm going to have to share the folder academy with, uh, with all the users. So I'm just going to share it with myself. Uh, I don't think I have to share it with myself. So if you want to share it with other users, make sure to share it uh, with all the users that need access to this folder. Otherwise, they can't see the folder. Okay. Cool. So my folder is shared. I have my new folder. The folder has my uh, new uh, sign request created uh, email template. It has the prefix academy. Now I'm going to use this prefix to actually update our sign request template. So in our sign request template, I can just click the edit button. And here there is in the email uh, a prefix to use. So if I put here academy, that's the email prefix we have used before, um, it will actually search for the uh, email that's, that starts with the name academy underscore. And then the, the next part of the email is of course fixed. Signer created, that's fixed. And EN, that's the language that you want to use uh, uh, per, uh, per email. So in this case, we only want to have an English one. So that's fine. We have the academy as a prefix. Now I can just run through and submit. So now my sign request is saved and completed. Next step is to test this. Of course, I have already set up everything. This is just about adding uh, extra merge fields. So uh, that is now done. Oh, I, that one step I've forgotten. Let's go back to our sign request template. In the sign request template, I also have to indicate which uh, which data source to use as our extra merge fields. So uh, I called it sign request opportunity data. That's the one so that I have to uh, set up here. Um, then of course, let's make sure our prefix is here. Academy, next, next, submit. Okay, so now if I look at the, uh, the sign request, uh, it will have uh, my extra email template. It will have the prefix. So now everything is set. Ready to test. So of course I did already my actionable. I have everything set up. So I can just generate my documents, my quotes, and then send it out for signing. So now it will take the, uh, uh, the sign request template, use uh, that new uh, email template that we have created, indicate that we have some uh, extra data, and then the email is created. So let's take a look at the email. It's already in my inbox. Okay, and as you can see now nicely, I have my account name just exactly where I want it according to the template. So this is how you can add extra uh, merge fields inside the email template.